Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. As your ServiceNow footprint expands, there will be times when the groups that you can select on a given task aren't the ones that you want precisely. Take this example here. This is a task for a soap production app that I've created in my PDI. And this is the list of groups that comes up when I want to assign it. But as we can see, there's all kinds of IT groups in here, not the list of groups that we want. Mm. This is controlled by a concept called group type, which you're sure to have seen if you've looked at the group form even once. In this case, we have the application development group and it's of type ITIL. Also note that a group can have multiple types. And back on the task form, if we right click and say show assignment group, you can see that there's a reference qualifier. This reference qualifier is looking for a group type of none or a specific sys ID. That sys ID happens to be the group type for ITIL. And don't ask me why they think ITIL should be assigned to any task type. But now that we know what filters the groups for a task, we can use two tools to make sure that for any given task type, we get only the groups that should be assigned that kind of task. First, I'm gonna to go to the group type table, that's sys, user, group, type. and we're gonna put a dot list in capitals. And here we are in the group types table. I'm going to create a new type called SOAPIN. Groups that deal with SOAP production. I'm going to save that and I'm going to copy the sys ID. Next, I'm going to go to the groups that I want to be able to assign those tasks to. And for each one, I'm going to go into the group record and I'm going to change its type to SOAPIN. Now that I got that out of the way, the next thing we're going to want to do is override the default reference qualifier on task.assignment group. So here I am on dictionary entry for task.assignment group. Be sure that you've got the right scope if you're using a custom application. Then we're going to scroll down to the dictionary overrides and I'm going to create a new dictionary override. In this case, we're going to make sure that the table is the task table that I want to override the reference qualifier for. So that's my batch table in my soaping app. And I'm going to click the override reference qualifier. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a reference qualifier of type equals, and I'm going to paste the sys ID that I copied earlier when I created the group type of soaping. We'll submit that. And now that we've created the dictionary override on the reference qualifier for task assignment group, let's go back to my batch and see what kind of groups I can assign to now. So as we can see, it's only those groups that I made of type soaping. And there you have it, folks. With basic concepts like group types and reference qualifiers, you can make sure that you can assign certain tasks to only the very specific groups that need to be assigned to those tasks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. My name is Robert Fedoric. I am a freelance ServiceNow architect, recruiter, consigliere, and coach. I can help you get more out of your ServiceNow investment, help you find and vet talent to round out your teams, or help you on the path to becoming a better ServiceNow resource. Reach out to the email you see here.